guys digital slang today we're going to take a look at the galaxy buds live now not a review just a first impressions basically i've only had them for about two days so not enough time to give a full review but first impressions on these are pretty good we're going to talk about it what i like what i don't like now again these did come with the note 20 ultra i got both of them in white to go together and it looks really good i, I love the color of the note 20 ultra and the color of the Buds Live to go with it. Now also in the box, they get the quick start guide, the user's manual, USB type C to charge. Of course, that is always a good thing. And we do get a couple of little extra, two of them, just an extra sleeve to go on top of your Buds Live to give you that better seal, better fit so you can get the good sound. Now these are open end earbuds, so not the in-ear style bud. So don't expect the best sound quality right surprisingly sound quality on these things is still pretty good for what they are but you're not going to get the same quality you would from the galaxy buds plus or something an in ear style bud with the silicone tips where you get that really good seal now these do have anc it's a hybrid anc don't expect don't compare it to some of the higher end earbuds with anc like the airpod pros it's a hybrid ANC, it will take out some of the low frequency and noises, and it works well for what it is. I know there's a lot of people saying it doesn't work at all. Well, you're comparing it to real ANC, and that's not what this is. It's only gonna take out some of the low end noises, and that does do that. So I don't have a problem with the ANC on here. Now again, open ear buds, not the in-ear style, so sound quality will suffer because of that. Price on these, $169.99, and we're gonna talk about price. I think they're a little overpriced for what they are. Now these do come in three colorways to match the Note 20 Ultra. We get the black, the white, and the Mystic Bronze. Battery life on these guys, eight hours at least. That's what they state, eight hours with ANC off and five hours with ANC turned on. They do support fast charging, so a five minute charge will get you another hour of juice. These are wireless charging compatible, so you can charge them with your phone or you can throw them on a key wireless charger and charge them that way. These do support touch controls. Now it is all controllable and programmable in the Samsung wearable app. So you can control it. If you wanna turn on ANC from the touch controls, you can set it up that way. If you wanna control your volume up and down from each earbud, you can set it up that way as well. And I'll show you guys the app so you guys can check that out. But let's take a look at the actual buds in the case. We do have the branding up here on the top. Again, the white to match the white of the phone. And I love the look of the phone and the white buds too. They look really good together. So the branding on the top, inside we get the L and the R with the actual beans. These are the Galaxy Buds Live, the Galaxy Beans as people are calling them. And on the back, nothing really there. LED light here on the front, USB type C, your port here to charge. And again, wireless charging compatible. Now these are the actual beans right here. And look, this is the first time I've ever seen this style of bud. I will give Samsung some credit here. They, they just took it in a different direction, right? Nobody else is doing something like this. And for what they are, for what these are, and the style of buds they are, they work very well. It's seamless, especially if you are using an Android device. So I'll get into that and I'll show you the wearable app and how they work and connect with that app, but overall, again, not in-ear style, and that's one of the things that is kind of tough, right? If you like AirPods, and some people like that style better, it's a better fit sometimes for people. It's also more comfortable for a lot of people, and these are very comfortable for what they are. So I'm gonna throw them in, we're gonna start all the testing, we'll do a mic test, I'll show you the app, and we'll get into it. So fit-wise, very comfortable, very lightweight, they don't feel bad at all. I've always enjoyed the AirPod style, of fit i've never had a problem with it always very comfortable but once you're connected you will get that pop-up to connect just like you do on any samsung product with their phones now galaxy buds live we are inside the wearable app it does give you the battery percentage on here 
If you lose your earbuds, you can find them with SmartThings Find. There is a prompt where you can find your buds. If you lose them, ANC, you can go in and turn that on or off. Of course, you do have EQ settings, bass boost, everything that you can change it to, treble boost, clear. Now, touch controls. You can go in and you can program your touch controls. It also gives you examples of how touch controls work. So let's just go over that really quick. One tap on either bud will play and pause. Double tap will go to the next track or answer your phone call. Triple tap will go back to the previous track and you can touch and hold and that's where you can go in and you can program it to do whatever you want, whether it's activate ANC or control your volume. And that's what I always put it at, volume control. My left right now is volume down. My right is volume up. You can also block accidental touches on here. Now, if we go back, so touch controls work very well and it's a touch control like the AirPod style and it works very well. Now, read notifications allowed, you can change that. You can go in advanced, seamless earbud connection. Of course, you wanna leave that on. Bixby voice wake up. They're still pushing Bixby for whatever reason. Every now and then they're just trying to slide it in there and get you to still use Bixby. Now labs, there is a gaming mode. So you can minimize audio delay if you are a gamer and like to play games. So relieve pressure with ambient sound. Sometimes when you have ANC earbuds, it does put a little pressure on there. I don't feel it with these. These are not the in-ear style. It's really not there, but they do give you the option to relieve some of that if you feel it. So very good. Find my earbuds. Of course, that's where you would go in. If you misplace them, it will play a beep or a sound if you lose them and it will lead you to them. General, you can go in and reset your earbuds if you were selling them or for whatever reason you had to go and reset them. Now, software updates, check for updates. I just downloaded one today, so there are updates and they will constantly improve some things on your earbuds. So overall, very cool. The app works very well. You are, you're able to control your buds and personalize them the way you want. Next, let's do a mic test. Let's check out the mic. What up, guys? The Galaxy Buds Live or Galaxy Beans, whatever you want to call them. Overall, not bad. I think they're a little overpriced. Hopefully, the mic sounds pretty good. Let me know. So we talked about touch controls. Now, sound quality on these things, guys, it's for what they are, it's really good, right? I'm very impressed by what they did with these. Now, I think they're a little overpriced. I don't think they're worth 170 bucks. Maybe around 100 bucks is the sweet spot for these. But for being the open earbuds, right? They're not in earbuds. They just kind of sit in your ear canal. So you're not gonna get that really deep bass. But saying that, they did a really good job at giving you the bass that's there, right? So. As far as comparing these to say AirPods 2, right? Kind of similar price point, open earbuds. Sound quality on these things blows the AirPods 2 away in my opinion. And I'm an AirPods fan, so it's hard for me to say that. These sound a lot better than those do. And I don't know if I found any kind of style of open earbud that sound as good as these. Now, plenty of volume. There is some punchy bass on here, and when you do raise it up, it kind of muffles it out a little bit, so the louder you go, just be aware, it will muffle it out some, but it's not terrible, but there is some punchy bass. The highs and the mids are very clear. They sound really good for what they are. I was very impressed by how these sound, but I do think they're a little overpriced, so keep that in mind. Now, ANC on here, it does work for what it is. It's more of a hybrid ANC. It's not going to compare to the AirPod Pros or any of the higher-end earbuds that kind of block out the world. These are different. It's just meant to block out some of the lower end noises and that it does. It does work fairly well with that. Now, when listening to content on here, there's no delay at all. They are perfectly in sync with whatever it is you're listening to, an iOS device, an Android device, YouTube, Netflix, whatever you wanna do, Amazon Prime, everything's in sync. And you would expect that for a pair of earbuds at this price. They sound really good when listening to content as well. Now, as far as one at a time, you can use one at a time. I do have one in the case right now charging, and this one is playing my YouTube video right now. So you can use one at a time, just be aware. You're only gonna have those touch controls that go with that earbud when you are using one at a time. But overall, look, these things are really good. Again, first impressions are good. I do think they're a little overpriced for what we get, but Samsung did a really good job with this style of earbud and the sound on here. I think they sound pretty good 
for what they are, but I do think the sweet spot price-wise is more around a $100 pair of earbuds. But overall, not bad. I'm gonna come back with a full review in a week or two after I use these a little more and give you some more opinions on what I think. But first impressions are good. I just think they're a little overpriced. But overall, I mean, I, I got them for free basically because I bought the Note. The Note was expensive and they did include it, so I'm not too worried about the price. But I think if I was to go retail and buy these for around 170, I don't know, I think they're around 100 bucks. I think that's the sweet spot. But overall, not bad. Sound quality we talked about. Touch controls are programmable, so you can program ANC or you can program volume control, which is what I like to do. Wireless charging. Look, battery life is just okay. I've seen a lot better battery life on some earbuds. Fit-wise, they're very comfortable. They're different. They did go out and they tried something new, so I give Samsung props for that. They are different and I think they did a good job with them. Overall, not bad. Again, I'll drop my full review soon, but that's it. The Galaxy Buds Live, white on white. I do like the white on white look. I think it looks kind of smooth, but that's it for the video, guys. I'll be back soon. Peace.